<laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get started just by saying that I'm here with Charlie Puth, and he's on Zoom joining us Hello. virtually today. It's 104.7 KDuck, Eric Tucker here. So Charlie, your new album, it's coming out in October. Tell me about that. October 7th. This is an album that kind of started in 2021 where I make all of my music after I get off stage playing for 10,000, 20,000 uh, fans and I'm fortunate and blessed enough to say that but during the pandemic obviously there was there were no concerts and I had to approach my songwriting in a new way so I turned to the virtual audience and just involved TikTok and Instagram reels and YouTube shorts and everyone wherever you watch my content online I involved everybody um, in the musical process of it all yeah you've been making a lot of waves with that too yeah. just how, with how active you are with your fans on social media too i i see a lot of your posts go viral because of everything that you're doing so well, i that makes me happy and if i can be any, any source of inspiration for uh anybody watching maybe you don't maybe you're not even a musician and you want to start making music i would love for you to do that and send me a song yeah and i heard that you're doing like a master class now i am that was <laughs> That was one of the hardest things to film because it's 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 about seven hours of filming a day and you have 15 cameras on you and you come up with ideas and songs and I'm just like coming up with these ideas and they're like, okay, so how did you think of that just now? I'm like, I don't know. It was like, God, it just fell out of the sky. So I have to really be patient and I uh, try and be the teacher, if that makes sense. So it's challenging, but rewarding. Yeah, well, you're a good teacher and you have a pretty thick skin, it seems like. I know back in April, you went on Ellen and you talked yeah. about how Elton John pretty much told you your music sucked. I disagree, by the way. But oh, thank you. Thank you, Eric. How did that help you as an artist, though? It, you know, it was it, it actually wasn't <clears throat> um, as harsh as I made it out to be on the Ellen show. He was very honest with me and he was basically just reaffirming something that I knew to be true and that was that I needed to make the music myself and ever since he said that that's what led me to this album which is coming out as you said October 7th yeah and I love playing your new song left and right with June Cook and tell Thank me you. about working with him I think it's a really cool collaboration so I always we had John Cook and I, John Cook of BTS, I'm supposed to say, mm -hmm. had, um, we we had musical history, and we had never made a song together, and I thought that has to change. And I was just listening to this song one day, and it was all me, and I thought, what he is he, he's he has such a great tone with his voice. What if he joined me on this, and he added a completely different element sonically to it, and just made it incredibly special. So I'm very happy to have him uh on this record with me and uh i'm super i don't know i'm just super thankful that it's being blasted out to millions of you know listeners who who listen to you and around uh, uh america like I, I again i want them to hear this very different sounding song and to be inspired to make a different sounding song of their own and can I just say, listening to that song, it's great with headphones like this because you really can hear what you have going on there with the how you do the switching of the channels yeah. and all that. That's so cool. It also works in the car, too. It goes from the left speaker to the right speaker. A little fun tidbit. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm enjoying <laughs> it, and I like playing it here on K-Duck. And I actually watched your YouTube performance, and you performed that for the first time at the Today Show Summer Concert Series. How was it performing in New York City? I, I mean, having grown up in New Jersey and played on the Today Show, I think it was my seventh time being there. It never gets old. It's it's always so uh, incredible be play, playing my music in New York City. And I used to walk by Rockefeller Center um, when I was younger, just dreaming that I would be able to do what I'm doing right now. So it's it's it, the feeling never gets old. Yeah. And speaking of places you've performed, do you have a favorite place that you've performed so far? Ooh. I love, you know, I, I I remember performing in Japan for the first time, and I was just so blown away with how culturally different it was there, but how 
avid the fans were and how much love they showed me from there. I, I love anywhere. I've never played a show and be like, that sucked. I really love playing everywhere. Well, come back to Oregon sometime, which leads me <laughs> to my next question. Yes. I know you have this new album coming out. Can you give us any details on a possible tour coming up? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I mean, that's the next progression obviously i i can't say exactly we're gonna give you guys the info first and then we'll you'll, <laughs> you'll help us spread the good word out um but i'd say what i can say is that you'll maybe know close leading up to october what's happening and uh we'll uh there, there's gonna it, there's a little surprise there's a little twist to it it's it's a little bit of a unconventional tour announcement Oh, okay. Well, I'm very excited to hear everything about that when that happens. And tell me somebody that you dream of collaborating with, like out of all of the other musicians right now, who do you want to work with? I, you know, I want to work with musicians and non-musicians alike. Like, I really love the sound of your voice. I feel like I could get you to sing like one particular part and like maybe like put some effect on it and maybe make it a hit record and you can play it on your own station. That would be cool. <laughs> But I, I, you know, Beyonce, anybody who is culture pushing and wants to uh, uh, not remain the same musically at all times, I want to be around because that's how I want to be as well. Yeah, awesome. And by the way, thank you so much for being so cool to the LGBTQ community. The, the community really appreciates it. So, of, of course, yeah, it's the, I, I, I love LGBTQ plus taste in music, and I live very close to. Um, uh, West Hollywood and it always is so much fun just rolling down my windows and just listening to they, they listen to a lot of Britney Spears but uh, all, I, always, I always get ahead of the trend on dance music when I pass by those clubs so much love to LGBTQ plus community everybody Woohoo! and I love WeHo I've definitely had some good times there so yes I actually <laughs> I've had some of my best nights on that strip so Let's get it. <laughs> yes. Well, Charlie Puth's new album, Charlie, comes out on October 7th. And I know that there is a way to pre-order it. Can you tell me about that? Well, I don't know all the technical stuff, but I know that you can go to my website and there will be a big, large button that you can hit to pre-order that album. You can purchase some tapes and cassettes because those are popular again. And uh, uh, you can look at all like the actual physical records. I like to think that it sounds even better. Uh, when you listen to it just on your cell phone. Awesome. Oh, so it's actually going to be on a cassette too? Yeah, it's actually, we, I think we have the left cassette and the right cassette. So that's a little cheeky. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I actually, I'm one of the few people that still have a Walkman, so. Oh, well, this is, I'm going to, you don't have to buy one. You can all send you one. But. <laughs> well, you're welcome up here in Oregon. Anytime, if you're ever in Eugene, stop by the station. We'd love to have you. I'd love to go there. We have, I've, I've, I've actually never stopped by you guys before, and you've been very, very supportive. So I, I thank you for that, even though I haven't been there yet. But when I do get there, we're going to have a nice dance party. Oh, Oregon's awesome. I just moved up here, actually. So I think you would love it here. Oh, I, yeah, it's very, ah, I, I, I love traveling. I'll probably come up with like five songs, five Oregon based songs when I get there. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for the time today and congratulations on your new album. I like what you're doing with it. Thank you so much, Eric. All right. Well, take care and I hope to talk to you soon. You will.